So I always start with the front of the head here. And I have this really nice big comb that I got from Sally Beauty Supply. It's just a rat tail comb. It's got really wide teeth and it's got a really long tail on it. It makes parting really, really easy. And if you have a dog that likes to rub its head or doesn't keep a top knot in pretty well, I get these little scrunchies at you know, the supermarket or anywhere. They're just little kind of fabric scrunchies. They're really soft. And I like to use them in the first band of the head so that way if the dog scratches or rubs, this will just pop out. It won't break the hair. So I'm going to make the first part. And I usually just kind of stick one on my finger. I'm going to pull this back. And my first section is usually just from ear corner to ear corner. So I'm just going to slide the comb through the hair. Pull it up. Kind of comb this stuff back. If you need to uh, neaten up your line, just go ahead and Straighten it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want it pretty close. And if your dog has a really heavy coat and it's flying up, you can use your comb to stick it in the hair and keep it out of your way. Then I'll just pull this section straight up. And I'm going to go ahead and put this rubber band in. I'm going to do it three times on him. It's pretty snug. And once you get that band in, I just kind of give it a little pull away from the skin to make sure it's not too tight because you don't want to have his eyes pulled up or have it be uncomfortable. And then go ahead and keep banding up the section. I usually space my rubber bands about one inch apart. Any more, it's just a little bit too much, I think. For him, I can usually get about three scrunchies in his head, so... Just like that.